there, good looking. Do you want to wake up your muscles? Well, join me in this quick little series designed to wake the body up. It's great to do first thing in the morning or as a standalone for those days that you just want to get a little bit of movement out, nothing too strenuous. Listen, you can stay in your PJs for this as well and no shoes are required. All right, let's go get started. My name is PJ Ran, and I've been a certified personal trainer and fitness instructor for close to three decades, focusing on women over the age of 40. And welcome to my morning wake up routine, or really essentially you can do it any time of the day. But we're going to start out down on the mat. So listen, heads up, if you have sensitive knees, make sure you have a mat underneath them, okay? Let's start down into cat and cow position, knees apart and under hip. Hips, wrists, under shoulders, spread those fingers for me. Inhale, allow the low back to sag, shoulder blades come together, head looks up. Exhale, tuck the tailbone under, take a look at your belly, push the ground away. Here we go, flow through this with your breath. Waking up the spine. One more. Find neutral, take the right foot, step it forward, place both hands on the inside of that right foot, and let's take that left hip and just drop it down to the mat and then lift it up. Short little pulses, not ballistic, it's controlled, just deepening and warming up the hip a little bit, deepening the stretch, two more. And now come on up, take this left knee more under the hip, tilt the pelvis under, bring the hands at the shoulders and reach up and across the body to get side body and then the other side. Arms are gonna stay as high as you can so they're not coming in front of the body. See if you can get the biceps beside the ears as you reach up and over. Last four. And release, let's step that right leg back, take the left foot now, slide the back knee further behind you, bring the wrists under the shoulders, hands beside that left foot, drop that right hip to the ground and then lift it up a little bit. So really subtle pulses. Now if this doesn't feel good, the pulsing, just hold it statically. These hip openers we're doing are really beneficial if you suffer with low back discomfort or if you've had a history of low back pain. Quite often the hip flexor muscle is tight, pulling on the pelvis, creating discomfort in the back. Last two, one more. Come on up, we want that right knee and hip. I'm just gonna turn my direction so you can see me. Right knee and hip lined up. Tuck that right tailbone under, squeeze that right glute, arms are up, reach it across, right arm first, bicep over ear, lean with it, really eking out a nice side stretch, every rep, every reach across. Last four. One more each side. Good job, come back onto all fours. I'm just swinging around. Bring the hands slightly ahead of the shoulders now. Tuck the toes under, fingers are spread. Push and press the hips up to your ceiling for downward dog. Pull any dog hair you see hanging from your pants. <laughs> just had a huge piece hanging there off my knee. All right, now let's get the ears beside the bicep, shoulders away from the ears, and pedal the feet, waking up the lower back of the lower leg, maybe even into the hamstrings. This is where it's really nice to be in bare feet. Really spread the toes, feel the ground under you. Your aim is to get the heel to the mat. It might not work though, right? So you do as best you can. Let's do two more. 
Good job. Hold it statically for just a couple of breaths here. Press your hips back a bit more if you'd like. And now let's wake up the core from downward dog. Flow into high plank. Wrists under shoulders. Look past over the mat. Good. Press the hips. Downward dog. And back into high plank. Two more. Last one. Tap your knees on the ground, bend your elbows, lower your chest all the way down. Slide your hands so the fingertips are just under the shoulders. Screw those shoulders or those elbows close to the rib cage. Use a bit of hand, but mainly low back extensors and lift up for a mini sphinx. Feet stay on the ground and lower. Good. Let's do three more. Waking up your lower back muscles. Release, last two. Last one. Come into Sphinx now, wrists lined up with the elbows, elbows under shoulders, drop the hips, lift the chest. Now look over your left shoulder, center, right shoulder, center, Four more. One more each side. And bring yourself into a standing position. In that standing position, we're positioning the feet shoulder width, toes slightly turned out, squat down, knees track with toes, good. Bring the arms in front if you'd like pushing your bum, shooting it rearward. Now as we come up, I want you to push your leg away for hip extension. Good. You didn't think you'd get away with not doing a squat in one of my series, even if it is a wake-up exercise. <laughs> We've got to get those knees warmed up. Remember, motion is lotion. And it really rings true when it comes to our knee joints. Good. Last four. And three, two, and one. Feet together, mirror me. Go into a bit of a side lunge here. Hands here. Rotate for T-spine extension. Hands come back together. Let's do that again. Push your hips rear. Rotate. Nice. Two more. Last one. You got it, other way, here we go. Push the bum back, rotate. Oh yeah, feel that through the front of the body. And then we get into that T-spine rotation extension as the arm goes behind, two more. Last one. Beautiful, find yourself to the top of the mat. Get your arms in sort of a I dream of genie um, <laughs> position. I want you to step back with the left leg for reverse lunge and then twist to the back leg. Yes. And now slide the hands so that they're on top of each other, not on top of the forearms and twist. So we're going to alternate our step back. Add that twist if that works for you and your back. Your lunge pattern as deep as it feels best for your knee joints. Last four, three, two, and one. Excellent. Take the feet wide, mirror me, inhale, reach up. Other side, inhale, exhale, again, inhale, open up, wake up that side body. One more each side. Last one. And there you go. Thank you so much for joining me. Listen, you can help me out if you're here on YouTube. 
click that like button so that the YouTube algorithm can find this video. And if you want to work with me on a deeper level to really crush your goals, there's a couple of ways you can do so. It's down there in the description. Either join us on Patreon or grab your free 14-day trial on Over 50 Fitness. Have a wonderful rest of your day. Bye.